My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. I've got a really special one for us right here. 1969 El Camino SS 396 that's been body off frame restored. I'm just getting started. It's got a four speed sitting in a center console between two bucket seats, has factory gauges, AM FM radio, power windows, a tilt rosewood wheel, power steering, power disc brakes, F41 suspension, a posi rear end, and ice cold air conditioning. Go to volocars.com, that's where you can read all the specs, study all the pictures, and that's where you'll find the prices on all of the collector cars that we offer for sale. It's at volocars.com. If you enjoy watching our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you click on that bell icon, you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, it'll be my pleasure, take you for a spin. Yeah, actually, uh, customer of mine that I buy really nice cars from was at a cruise night and spotted this car. Uh, he doesn't typically do that, but he's like, Jay, this thing's really nice. He sent me pictures of it, put me in contact with the uh, gentleman that owned it, and I ended up buying the car. Uh, the gentleman I got it from bought it in 2010 down in Lake of the Ozarks. Uh, it had been sitting for a long time. It was an estate sale. Uh, and then he spent two years doing a body off the frame restoration. The reason he bought it, it was sitting there all intact, clean, rust free metal, and obviously loaded with options. He knew this was a special car. Let's do it right. I have a photo album, uh, a lot of pictures of the complete before, during, and after uh, the body off frame restoration process. And I got a stack of receipts that will go with it as well. I drove the car home, it drove every good, every bit as good as it looks. So this is really a quality car throughout. The body was off the frame, the chassis was sandblasted down to bare metal, painted a gloss black, and of course everything was rebuilt or replaced before uh, you know, being put back together. So all the ball joints, bushings, springs, shocks, all that's been replaced. The F41 suspension means it has sway bars front and back, and it has box control arms in the rear as well. Everything in the back is new. The bushings, springs, shocks, actually has air shocks in the back. That way you can haul a couple yards of mulch and just pump up those air shocks. Uh, the fuel system's been replaced. The tank, the straps, the sending unit, the lines. The brake system's been all redone. He did convert it to disc brakes in the back, so it's four-wheel disc. The only thing not done is the uh, emergency brake cable system. There's a cable here in the box, but uh, the brakes themselves are redone. New hoses, new lines. It's got a nice dual exhaust system with a crossover pipe, Flowmaster mufflers. They look like stainless tips coming out each side there. You look up at the motor, it's still clean. Starter looks fresh. Uh, it has a period correct Muncie four speed transmission, a uh, new clutch. It's a 12 bolt rear end, uh, original to the car according to the codes. It's a 355 Posi originally. He did rebuild it and he switched it to a 331 gear, so it's a little more highway friendly. So, underneath the car is really nice floors. Uh, clean, the inner rockers, the metal is just dry, smooth, clean metal. The floors are painted like a satin black. The chassis is more of a gloss black. The body is amazing. He says it's all the original metal except this door skin was replaced. Uh, if he didn't tell me, I would never know. It looks perfect, there's no issues, but he told me that's all they replaced. And it is laser beam straight. I look at the cars before I start the video and I even feel all along the bottom there's no bubbles, blisters. I didn't see any problem areas. You know, each car has its, or many cars will have its little problem area. I didn't find any here. So it's absolutely smooth, straight. The gaps are right on. They're smooth and flush and square. Fits real nice. It's an original Cortez silver car. 
Uh, the metal flake is laid out. I don't see any cloudy or discolored areas. And the clear coat is literally polished like glass. There's no uh, orange peel, no fuzziness. It's slick paint. This SS Stripe comes in a decal. They actually painted this one on. They got the dimensions correct, and it's smooth. You don't feel it at all. All of the chrome and trim has been replaced. All the stainless moldings, even the anodized trim around the door frame here, this is all new. All around the vent window, the moldings, door handles, mirrors, all of this trim all around the bed, the tail lights, reverse lights, bumpers, all this has been replaced. Emblems, marker lights, the vinyl top is new. The door jams are really slick, and these doors close like a new car. Really nice. Door jams are painted just as slick as the car, even up front by the hinges is all shiny and really nice. Of course, all new weather strips, sill plates, window seals, the rubber around the vents here are new. Windshields replaced, these chrome grills on the SS hood are new. Does have bumper guards up front. Everything up here looks new. The bezels, grill, lenses, bumper. So it's also a period correct. It is a 1969 396 motor. Uh, it was rebuilt, runs just flawlessly. Uh, it does have an aluminum intake on top and it does have a set of headers. Other than that, everything looks stock. Has the right uh, fuel filter up front here. You know, the alternator, the brackets, uh, everything is really nice. It has reproduction chrome valve covers, air cleaner. The factory air conditioning system was rebuilt. It's got a newer compressor and newer components over here. It is R134 Freon. It does have a new heater control valve. Uh, looks like the fuel pump is new. Upgraded big aluminum radiator. Uh, it's got a new fan, uh, clutch fan, new shroud. Uh, it's got the horns. It's got a Delco battery topper with the spring clamp cables. We'll get to the interior in a minute, but it's like new. The tailgate also functions really nice. Just click shut. Even underneath the tailgate, there's no rust. It's got a nice clean edge, got the rubber flaps still in there, the jams, the cables, all that's real nice. Comes with this nice sign with the easel. Inside the bed is mint. I literally don't even see a little dent or ding. So everything's straight, uh, painted silver, clear coated, stainless uh, hardware, includes a car cover. So inside, it's a legendary interior. They make the best interiors. It even comes with a certificate. There's a genuine legendary interior kit. So there's new cushions in the bucket seats, new upholstery, upholstered headrest, new chrome trim, all new door panels, armrest, the little vent window cranks, the door locks. Remember, it's power windows, so it has factory power window switches there. Getting back in here, it has the hood insulation, new wiper motor, the squirters are all hooked up. Uh, it has the splash shields on the inner fenders. All the metal surfaces are clean and painted smoothly. Uh, cadmium plated brake booster, new power steering pump. Uh, it just, it looks new in here. So there's new carpet down on the floor, embroidered El Camino floor mats. The center console looks new, but the aluminum trim right on top just has some scuffs. It's not scratched up, it's a little scuffed. Other than that, the interior really looks spotless. All the metals painted nice, the dash pad looks new, the vents, the knobs uh, look new. It has the tachometer with the gauges, a clock, all that's really nice and clean. Uh, the clock is not working, but everything else is. It has a factory AM FM radio in there, and that was sent out and rebuilt. It's a tilt column with a rosewood steering wheel. It's in mint condition. Headliner's new, the mirror, the visors, uh, the dome light works. It does have a new heater control panel. It has new vents. There's a, I don't know if you could see it, but there's a cup holders in there. Uh, it's an aftermarket deal. Uh, it's nice to have cup holders. And there's two gauges down below the dash. Uh, also, it comes with this, uh, these pictures I was talking about, 
and receipts. And when he goes to car shows, he just sets it, sets it right up here. Well, we fire it up. And I'm telling you, this one's right. And it drives and functions just as well. Sounds great. Wood fits nice and square and flush. Almost. So really, there's other El Caminos out there. They do not come along like this. Again, the quality is there. This is one of the exceptional cars. Every El Camino you call on, of course, they're going to tell you it's real nice. I'm telling you, this one's exceptional. You can look at 100 cars. This would be in the top five, top 10 at least. And then there are all the options, a four-speed air power windows in an El Camino. That's unheard of. So you got a really special, rare opportunity here. So there you have it. That's my impression. You can go to volocars.com. There's plenty of ways on there to contact the salesman. If you have questions or concerns, ask them. They will help you out the best they can. They can help get this delivered anywhere in the country. They can help get you financed. It's at volocars.com. If you just enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon. You'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.